It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the defending NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Play action. Here's Hertz. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7-0 game. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This taken in at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big-time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Hurd's going to run it himself. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. That time the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold him. Inside handoff, Penny. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. So the completion there, and CD, as we know, trying to defend against an NFL quarterback, that's one thing. Trying to defend against a mobile NFL quarterback, that's quite another. What's the plan here defensively? Well, the pass rush has to still try and get to him, especially the guys on the edge, but they're going to go maybe a, a, a count slower, right? They want to make sure they don't get too far upfield where he steps up and takes off through a lane. The same is true for those interior guys as well. So you've got to change it up with him, try and keep him hemmed into the pocket, and occasionally you throw a spy on him, a fast linebacker or one of your extra defensive backs who can dance with him a little bit if he takes off and runs. On second down, here's Penny. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. 
could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Hurts sets up to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, what a move. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Penny fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? From the two now, second and goal. Once more, Penny, and this time he's not going anywhere. In fact, he'll lose yardage back to the three. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins offense returning to the field. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 22. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert, 78 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. It was Raquan Davis with the tackle. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. On second down, here's the option. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper, 17 yards, first down. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. That's to the speedster Olamide Zacchaeus. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Hertz trying to hurry up the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Hertz. Forced out to his left. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. On first and 10, it's Hurts. It's caught on the right side, it's Smith. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Oh, 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Open man, he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Eagles get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Two and now on first down. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. And he's got this down to the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Play action. Now it's Tua. Launches deep, a jump ball, and this is caught. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Tyreek Hill in the final seconds of the first half. And the Dolphins would extend their lead here just before halftime. Sanders on for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Kick. 
So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, the Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down in the yard. From the gun, a run with Moster. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 85 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. That one complete to Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Going to the air, Tonga Bailoa. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 32-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Meanwhile, to his throw, complete there to Berrios. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Two is throws taken in by Waddle. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 16. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Sanders now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Here's Hertz to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 10 yards there and an eagle first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurts. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Second down, here's Hertz. Complete to Zacchaeus. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Hurts' his throw brought in by Brown. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Throwing his hurts. They set up the screen to Penny. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. But first down, Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles! 
Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know, it doesn't feel right. Exactly. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Dolphins are going to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and four. Once again, it's Mostert. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Second and 11 now. Up the middle they go with Moster. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. 123 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. For the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Philly.